Dave Lee loves nothing more than working as a cobbler. So you can imagine how devastated he was when he had an horrific accident while repairing a shoe. His jumper became entangled in the machine. He stopped it with his foot. He knew he'd been injured, but at that point had no idea how serious it was. I am unravelling myself from the machine. I know I've hurt myself, but th there's no pain, so I don't know how bad. And as I'm unravelling myself, my thumb just there uh, dropped on the floor. Dave from Sutton in Ashfield says he then put pressure on the wound and calmly went outside for a cigarette while he waited for an ambulance. Where was your thumb at that point? Um, at that point, it had actually been picked up by one of the people in here and put in a plastic bag. But I didn't touch it. I, I just left it on the floor and I just got on with, OK, the power needs to be off. I need to take this stuff with me. I need to pack my bag. Uh, it, it's strange when you look back and you think of what happened, uh, but that was what I did. What about the pain? There was no pain. No pain at all. After being initially taken to Kings Mill Hospital, he was then transferred to the Royal Derby Hospital. He was worried that he'd have to stop working. His thumb couldn't be reattached to his hand, but doctors told him they could replace it with his big toe. Dave said the decision to have the procedure was a no-brainer. I just moved to this location, uh, just set up business here six weeks prior, uh, and I thought I'm going to lose the job that I love. I'm going to lose my shop. I'm not going to be able to do this anymore. And when you gain a love of something, you want to keep doing it. So to potentially have that ripped away and them say, no, it is a lifeline. You can have this done and this will get you back to close to that standard. It was like, yeah, do it. How does it feel having your toe as your, your thumb? Weird. Uh, I, I was so conscious with it to start with. And I remember I was going to Blackpool and it wasn't long and after the operation and it all looked sore and red. And I was handing someone money and they were staring at it. Uh, and I was conscious passing the money over. Um, so it, it was weird in that respect. He says now customers don't even notice it. Before I came here, I was expecting a big toe, but it isn't. They've done a really good job. They thinned it down really well um, and shaped it. Earlier today, Dave was reunited with a surgeon who he says gave him hope. She says the procedure had only been done a handful of times and she's delighted with the outcome. When we do this operation, we've, we've put the, t the bone from the thumb and joined it to the bone of the toe and they have to mend together just like a fracture healing. So David was actually, as, as far as I was aware, in a splint taking things easy, but in actual fact he'd gone back to work and he, he didn't confess that until a couple of months ago. Dave has even managed to pursue his passion for painting after the accident and he says it's all thanks to the support and care he received from hospital staff. Rajiv Puppet, ITV News.